masterpiece saved my life. I was gonna put an album out called Fuck Death Row. And Mac 10 was gonna give me a million dollars to put it out. It was gonna be on Who Banging Records. No. And, and Who Banging Records and No Limit Records was all up under Priority Records and Ice Cube label. So I would go up there to see Mac 10. And when I would go up there, I would have to pass by Master P's uh, No Limit shit to get to Mac 10. I passed by one day, Mystical in there. And my, I don't even know Cub, but I know his music. He like, what's up? I'm like, what's up, nigga? I fuck with you, nigga. I fuck with you, nigga. We gonna be at the studio tonight, nigga. Come by. All right, cool. I come by the studio. Get on the song. Master P like, how much you want for the song? In my mind, I'm like, shit, I'm broke right now. I ain't getting no money. Nigga, give me 15. But I'm thinking like 1,500. Because I just need something. I come back the next day, Master P wrote me a check for 35,000. So I'm like, oh, I like this nigga's style. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So now he called me to his office. He said, what you working on? I said, I got this album called Fuck Death Row. This motherfucker hard. He like, hold on, bro. He closed the door. That nigga like, man, you ain't gonna live to see that album come out. He said, don't do that, bro. You can't make no record talking about death row and sugar, man. You gotta let that shit go, man. He said, let me, let me give you, let me give, let me make an offer to you. Let me make a proposal to you. And this nigga drove me around the neighborhood and said, pick any house you want. And at that time, I was living in a house that was under Suge Knight's name. All my cars under Suge Knight's name. I had to say, you know what? Fuck that. I'm going with this nigga. So he was like, nigga, if you sign with me, you got to come down to, to New Orleans. You can't be out here. You and your whole family got to come down here. So I came, picked the house out. Picked out a car for my wife, a car for me. Got the house furnished, flew my wife and my kids to New Orleans. And three years later, nigga, I did that. What's good? It's your boy Tomless Rod with TR Mentality, man. Before we get into the video, make sure y'all own your own shit. Now, before we go any further in the video, man, make sure you go ahead and leave a like, comment, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram at Tomless Rock Music. And also make sure you share this video with anybody who can relate and need this information. In this clip, we talking about how Master P got Snoop Dogg to turn down $1 million. And man, I'ma just start the video off, man. Snoop is one of the realest motherfuckers in the game. He a legend, man. He done shared so many stories about shit that he ain't even had to speak on. Stuff that we didn't have to know, but you know, it gave context about how the music business was back in those times and i always speak about this on this channel man you gotta look and study the game you gotta know what's going on why you shouldn't sign a record deal you know when i talk about not signing a record deal and i talk about being independent it's backed by me actually putting the work in and understanding what goes on when you signing those deals you know what do you really get out of signing those deals you know and it comes from people like this like snoop dogg and everybody that's willing to share that information and stuff that they went through on their journey as an artist dealing with record deals and you always hear everybody say how independent was the way and if they could do everything all over again, they would go independent. So as an artist, I always tell y'all, I'm gonna always be independent. That's what I stand for. I stand for ownership, own your own shit. We speak about it on all videos. Merch coming soon, by the way. But in this video, I really wanna focus on Master P. What he just did for Snoop Dogg was crazy. Like Snoop said in the video, he saved his life because he was ready to take a million dollars from Mac 10 to go ahead and drop an album called Fuck Death Row. And we knew the game back then, man. Like how that would've turned out, Snoop might not have made it to be where he is right now. And it's crazy crazy when we hear stories like that because like I said you don't know what happened behind closed doors back in the day we only hear from the stories talking about Master P man he one of the greatest business minds that we have ever seen when it comes to the music business and being an entrepreneur as a whole this is somebody that if you're a music artist rather you want to be signed or you want to remain independent this is somebody that you got to study his philosophies and outlook on business is something that we all need to learn from and be able to implement in our own lives and another thing he always speak on how nowadays a lot of people want to sign these records deals because they don't want to be entrepreneurs they don't want to do things on their own they want somebody else to do the work for them and we always speak on how the energy that you put out into the world it always come back so the fact that he did this for snoop putting out that positivity helping him get out of a bad situation a bad deal and doing what he did changed his life and he always gonna reap the benefits for doing things like that i just overall think this is a dope story man it's a dope thing he did for snoop and it's a dope thing he's doing for so many entrepreneurs and music artists and everybody that want to remain independent sharing stuff 
stories about the downs and the ups and helping people stay motivated and staying focused on their goals and what they want to accomplish and knowing that you can do it on your own and always stepping up and taking shit to the next level in your own way. If you're a music artist and you want to remain independent, you got to be making social media content. One of the best places to do that is right here on YouTube. So down below, I'm going to have a download link to a free tool called TubeBuddy. This tool is going to help you grow faster than all your competition, helping you find the best tags for your videos, the best titles for your videos, how to optimize your videos correctly for the search engine, and what's the best topics to speak on at every moment. So make sure you go ahead and download that link down below. It's free. But hey, man, I'm going to go ahead and leave y'all on that note, man. Make sure you go ahead and leave a like on the video. Also, leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on the videos. And if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. And I'm out of here, man. I can't make you mine if you want. I've been stepping, I've been stepping, I've been stepping, but you different, baby. I admit it. I admit that you done got a nigga in the headlock. Girl, you give a nigga wild thoughts. You've been heavy on my mind. I can't be around all the time. I know you want it, but I can't.